coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. New this morning, a home is damaged after a tree fell on it. It happened just before 3.30 this morning. You can see the video here. This is at 909 East Mary Lane. This is just off of Highway 41 on Terre Haute's south side. Luckily, everyone inside this home got out safely. A new government website is making it easier for you to find information about COVID-19. When you go to covid.gov, you'll find all you need to know about vaccines and treatments. The website also features a new tool to help you find test locations. You can also search for your county's current COVID-19 guidelines. The city of Clinton is honoring all those who have lost their lives to COVID-19. News 10's Chloe Markley shares how you can show support tonight. Chloe. Many people here in the Wabash Valley have lost a loved one to COVID. That's why Clinton feels it is so important to honor the memory of all who have passed. A vigil will be at the Clinton Community Center Thursday night. It will begin at 6 p.m. and will be led by the Clinton Methodist Church pastor. Mayor of Clinton Jack Gilfoy says 74 people in Vermilion County have lost their lives to COVID. He says this memorial is to honor the ones lost and show they will, be, they will never be forgotten. People from all counties are welcome to come to the vigil. Back to you. Chloe, thank you. A community leader from Vermilion County, Indiana faces four felony charges. Joseph Ellis is a member of the Vermilion County Area Plan Commission and the board president of Vermilion Rise. According to court documents, Ellis is charged with four felonies regarding voter fraud. The charges include ineligible voter voting outside precinct residence and unauthorized absentee ballot. Now the latest developments from Ukraine. Russian forces continue to bombard areas of Ukraine where they pledged to scale back, including the capital. More peace talks are scheduled for tomorrow. That's according to the Ukrainian government. Meanwhile, the White House says senior advisors to Russian President Vladimir Putin are afraid to tell him the truth about how bad the war in Ukraine is going for Russia. Officials say that could complicate a future peace agreement. That's if Putin thinks he's in better shape than he really is. Some relief at the gas pump could be on the way. President Joe Biden is preparing to order the release of up to a million barrels of oil per day from the nation's strategic petroleum reserve. It's in a bid to control energy prices. Gas prices have spiked across the United States. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. We are going to see a chance of rain today. Very scattered light rain as the afternoon goes on. Otherwise, you know, the cloud cover, the constant chance of rain is just going to keep temperatures from changing. So right now we're in the lower 40s. We're going to stay in the mid 40s at the highest uh, at the end of the day. You know, our temperatures are going to stay in the 40s today. We are in for nicer weather tomorrow. So if you need to get outside, avoiding rain is your main priority. You don't want to deal with the cool weather. You can wait till tomorrow. It's going to be sunny. Temperatures are going to be a little bit higher. and It's going to be more comfortable outdoors.